Hello, my friends. This is Sylvie Curry, Lady of Q. And once again, I'm in my kitchen. Today, I'm going to be cooking up some red wine braised oxtails. Yes, red wine braised oxtails. And I'm going to be using a technique that's similar to cooking something like asobuco or even short ribs. So come on, join me and let's get to cooking. Here I have about four and a half pounds of oxtails and some are medium, some are large, and some of them are kind of small, but we cooked them all. I cleaned them up and I've had them soaking in water for a while. I trimmed a lot of the fat off, but that's not going to matter. And the reason for that is that I'm going to be skimming the fat off in the end anyway. So the fat's okay. Other things that are going to be going into this red wine braised oxtails include salt and pepper, and that's to season the oxtails. I've got a whole head of garlic. So this quite a few cloves in there, a lot of garlic. And I'm gonna leave them whole like that because we're cooking this braise a long time and they'll dissolve anyway. I've got some tomato paste and I'm only gonna be using maybe a couple of tablespoons of that. I've got some dried oregano and that's about two teaspoons of dried oregano. I've got two bay leaves and these are fresh bay leaves fresh off my bay leaf tree, actually. I've got three tablespoons of flour. In addition, I have some fresh rosemary and thyme, and that's a large sprig of rosemary, and that's about five or six sprigs of thyme. These are the celery stalks and leaves. I've also got onions, which are diced, and the celery stalks diced and some carrots. Onion-wise, this is probably the equivalent of about two medium onions. This is the equivalent in celery of about, I say I think that's about three stalks in addition to the celery tops. And I've got about a half a cup of carrots. Uh, only a half a cup because that's actually all I had. I've got some beef bouillon. And this is made from better than bouillon paste. And I've added about four cups of water to it. And I've got a red wine. And the type of red wine you use is up to you. This happens to be a Zinfandel. And the only reason I'm using that because it was one of the least expensive wine, red wines that I had in my wine cupboard. A Cabernet Sauvignon will probably be preferable, but red wine, that'll do. In addition, in my Dutch oven, I've got a couple of tablespoons of avocado oil that I'm gonna be using to sear the oxtails, and we'll get to doing that right now. I have all my oxtails. They've been rinsed and cleaned. I patted them dry, and now I'm gonna add the salt and pepper to coat. And how much I add it depends on what it looks like once I get it on there. And in this cup, I had three teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of pepper. So I'll just swish that around in there. And if it looks like I need to coat some other areas, I'll just sprinkle some on there. It's not an exact science, and these big pieces of meat can handle a lot of salt, so I'm not worried about that. We want them to be seasoned, and we want them to be seasoned well. I'm going to leave these for about 30 minutes, 20-30 minutes, so that some of that seasoning can actually get in there and get absorbed and penetrate the meat somewhat and we'll come back and we'll start to searing it. 
My oxtails have been sweating in the salt and pepper for oh, about 20 minutes now. I've got some oil in my Dutch oven that I'm heating up and I'm going to sear each of the oxtails and move on to the next step. We're going to put the oxtails in and we're not going to put them in too tight because I want them to sear and not steam. You need to make sure that all sides of the oxtails you get a sear and a little browning on them. See we've got the browning around one of the sides of the oxtail. I've got the smaller pieces in, and browning those. I finished browning the oxtails, and I've got a little bit of oil remaining in there. I'm going to keep that there, and we're going to add our veggies now. That's the celery, the carrots, and the onion. And we're going to cook that around until it gets a little translucent. And now I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. Stir that around in my veggies. I'm also going to add my flour. This is three tablespoons of flour. We're going to just stir that around a little bit until everything is combined. I'm now going to add my beef broth. Red wine. And it's a whole bottle of red wine. There's four cups of beef broth. 750 milliliters of a whole bottle of red wine. Our bay leaves. Garlic. oregano, celery leaves, a rosemary and thyme. That's all going in the pot. And we'll stir that around to combine. Now that all of that has come up to a simmer, I'm going to add back in my oxtails. And we want to make sure that they're covered in that braising liquid. And it looks like there's no problem with them all being covered with the amount of liquid that I already added. If there are any juices in the pan that you had, go ahead and put them back in. Those, guys, those have a lot of flavor. Now that my Oxtails have come up to a little simmer on medium heat. I'm going to put the top on, cover it, and I'm going to lower the heat to a simmer. And we'll let those go for however long it takes for them to get tender. We are one hour in on this cook. Looking good. We're at two hours in. I think I'm going to need probably about another half hour. I just did the fork test on it. And though it broke away with a little bit of pressure, I think it needs a little bit more to make it totally tender. My oxtails are tender. Now 
I'm going to move on to my presentation stage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the oxtails from the broth. After I remove all the oxtails, I'm going to strain off the solids that are in my sauce here. And once I strain those, I'm going to put them back in the Dutch oven to reduce. And I want to reduce them to about half and it's going to make a syrupy type sauce, syrupy consistency. And these are the oxtails that are tender. I'm going to put them to the side to keep warm and we'll start working on the sauce. Now this can be a pretty messy stage in this process, but what I'm first going to do is try to get some of the solids out first. And then what I will do is try to force a lot of the juices that are in. Then I take a lot of these solids, put them to the side. Then I'm going to carefully take my sauce and pour it through. There you go. One more piece of meat in there. And we've got the makings of our sauce. Here's our sauce. And I'm going to now go to one more step. The next step is to remove a lot of that extra fat that's in there. And to this con contraption is one of my little tools. And it separates the fat. This separates the fat from the rest of the sauce. I just have to let that set a little bit for that fat to rise to the top. And now that my fat has risen up and I've got sauce here, I can go through the process and I've got a nice fat layer that I've taken off. Now still some fat does get in the bowl but it's not nearly as much as what I've skimmed off from this cup. I've got my stove turned back on again and I'm going to reduce the sauce to nearly half and it's become, it will become very creamy looking. And once we do that reduction, then we'll taste it and correct the seasonings. The oxtails are done. We'll just add it back to the sauce. And we've got our dinner. You can tell by the motion of the fluid move of the sauce that it is thickening up. I believe, reduction-wise, we are there. We've got a gravy-like consistency. It smells oh so yummy. Do a quick tasting. That's very good, but it does need more salt. So I'm going to add a little bit more there. It's also pepper. We'll let those flavors marry some. I think that's on point. I'm going to leave it right there. Since I've corrected my seasonings, I'm now going to move my oxtails back into the Dutch oven. I've got my oxtails back in the gravy sauce and they're ready. All we need to do is eat. 
And it's just a little decoration to add some color. I'm going to sprinkle some fresh parsley on the oxtails. It just gives it a little color, a little accent.